Hey there, everybody. It's me, Andrew, for Andrew Talks, and we are starting off season two. Season two. Woo! That's right. You heard me. And we are starting it off with the bang. This week is all about inspiration. What inspires you? What inspires you? And uh, this week, what inspires me is art. That's right. You heard me. Art. So we're going to travel around the great city of Los Angeles, Hollywood to be exact, to find some local art that you might not find in a museum. Visit your local museum, but also check out some great art that we have right here outdoors that is for everyone to see. And it's free. Can't beat that. Okay, okay our first stop is here already. And there's all different types of art to see here in Hollywood, as I mentioned. And here is some local art, some cool graffiti that you just got to see. Take a look. Hopefully, uh, don't mind the cars or the traffic as they pass by. Here we go. Pretty awesome, right? A lot of work went into that. Let's travel some more and find some great new art to see. Isn't she gorgeous? Apparently the artist was inspired by me. <laughs> Another great piece of art in beautiful Hollywood, California. Move it on, let's go guys. Okay, I was so inspired by all the great art we've seen so far, I went and got a haircut. I hope you like it. And here is some more great art to view right now. Isn't that beautiful? Shout out. Shout out to lmark.net and digitalretina.com for such an amazing piece of art here on the streets of Hollywood. But isn't that so cool? Just an electrical box. And that looks like the great observatory that we saw just a few weeks ago on Andrew Talks. More art to come. All right, everyone, we're at one of my favorite, favorite places, favorite places in the whole wide world. And it's my final stop here um, in Hollywood for art. And um, I think you're going to see why I'm so inspired by it. And I hope you are inspired by it, too, or just enjoy its beauty. Okay, here we go. It is the wonderful, beautiful, hooray for Hollywood, as I call it, piece of art. Check. Okay, in. quick side note. Uh, parking enforcement is right next to us, and Andrew don't want to get a ticket. So we're going to try to be sneaky and get a good shot of this. It might be a little bit quicker than I wanted. Oh, just get it. He just left. Okay, even better. So this is what I wanted to show you all. The hooray for Hollywood. And look at all these familiar faces that we know and love. From movies of yesteryear. There's Oprah! Hey Oprah! There's Elvis. Elizabeth Taylor. All that great stuff. Marilyn and Charlie Chaplin. Just too cool. Richard Pryor. This was just something I didn't want you guys to miss. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you're ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. It is season two. Woo! Season two. That's right. Season two here on Andrew Talks. I am so excited 
first off, let me say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who watched season one and come along for the ride. Season two is gonna be bigger, it's gonna be better, it's gonna be Andrewer, if that's even possible. I'm so excited, so is the crew. We're so pumped for season two. Season two coming right now, so let's get started. This week, as you know, it's all about inspiration. What inspires you? What gets you going? I've got some top stories for you. Let's get to the headlines. Number one, shout out. That's right, you heard me. Shout out to Melody from So You Think You Can Dance. And you should already know about Melody from So You Think You Can Dance because season one, I told you, that was the show to watch this summer. So You Think You Can Dance. And Melanie, AKA the Beast, as she's known on the show, killed it all season long and won America's Favorite Dancer. Yes, she did, and she was amazing. From contemporary to hip hop to jazz, she did it all and she did it so, so well. So shout out, shout out to Melody. She did stuff like, she, she, she did the contemporary and then she did a step like, oh, what, I, I, I might've pulled something. Woo, <laughs> I ain't Melody. Talk about yourself, Sonny. Oh my God, I'm okay. Oh, okay. But yes, shout out to Melanie from So You Think You Can Dance. Awesome, awesome job this season. Also, another shout out to her competitor, Sasha, who came in second. Two women on top, kicking butt this season. Sasha, you are amazing as well. Shout out to you. You can catch the top 10 on tour this fall. Make sure you get your tickets, fox.com slash dance, all that good stuff. I'm not Kat Dealey. I'm not as pretty, but I could do her job. That, again, fox.com slash dance for all the ticket information. Anywho, moving on, moving on from So You Think You Can Dance and Inspiration Dance-wise. So we've done dance, we've done art. What other inspiration could there be? Could there be bad inspiration? Follow what I'm saying here. Bad inspiration as if you see someone doing something bad or having a bad time in their life and it inspires you to do better. Yes, maybe. Okay, Charlie Sheen. That's right, I said it, Charlie Sheen. Lord have mercy, y'all. He is back in the news Apparently he was introducing the insane clown posse. You know of their work. You don't? I'll give you a minute to Google. Go ahead. He was introducing the insane clown posse recently and uh, his, the fans of ICP were not, were not fans of Mr. Sheen. And they threw garbage at him and booed him off the stage. Embarrassing. Inspiring us to what? Be better than that. Yes, indeed. And speaking of other celebrities we love to hate, K plus eight is now gonna be K minus eight. That's right. TLC has finally canceled K plus eight after many, many years. They've been on since 2007. So what can you do? What can you say? Bye kids. We hope you have a normal life now that the cameras won't be there. And I think TLC just needs to get going and hop on that bandwagon. And I can't wait for Glenn plus 10. Glenn plus 10, honey. Much better than K plus eight. I have a feeling. Ten kids, one dad, a weekend camping trip in the Himalayas. Beat that. Beat that, K plus eight. You couldn't. You couldn't if you tried. Glenn plus ten. Come to TLC next fall. Okay, not really. But TLC, if you want my idea, just call me. I'm sure we can figure something. Okay, everybody. Whether you're inspired by art or dance or people maybe not doing so great and you're, it has inspired you to do better, make it great. That's right, you heard me, make it great. This has been a great start to season number two. Cannot wait to show you what we have for you throughout the course of this season. Stay with us, buckle up, hold on tight. It's gonna be quite a ride. I am Andrew for Andrew Talks. I will see you next time. Bye everybody.